we are going to import the file delimiter that is a comma separated file in metadata under metadata you just expand the metadata where you can see you have an option called file delimited okay so right click on that you have an option called create the delimited file so just type same euro mart okay so euro mart is your data so euro mart and euro mart okay and then simply click next where you have to select the file so select where it is from the proper place and click open you can see the data has been imported so here in the format you have three options one is windows unix and mac since i'm using unix sorry windows operating system i'm just going to click windows okay so select appropriately if you are using a, a linux sorry if you are using uh, unix then click on unix or if you are using mac click on max okay then click next in here this is the third step where you have to define the settings okay so here you can see that you have an option called field separated okay so click here you have this much field separated data that is comma semicolon comma and tabulation okay we are going to import the comma separated file so click on comma fine and then here in the escape character string click on csv because csv is comma separated okay so escape character if you have like for the next line instead for next line there'll be some in some files they'll be indicating like slash okay uh, or for uh, so in that case you have to go with that for, but in our case in our data we don't have any other escape character so simply you can leave it empty and text enclosure because you can see in the ruby patel okay those so this is the data here so if you in few csv files they might have enclosed the strings in inside the double quotes okay so that is what text enclosure so if you want to specify that you can give but in our in our data we don't have any other text enclosure so just leave it as such and here in the preview you can see that it is showing like a column zero right so we have to change that for that you have to click set heading row as column names okay once you click that and click refresh preview you can see that your heading rows has been changed your column names has been changed so click the next okay so even here the steps are same as you did for excel but in excel the step one is same that is you have to define the properties for your metadata file the step two is also same like you have to find uh, where your data from where you are going to fetch the uh, fetch the file and here you have to select which format of uh, operating system you are using whereas in excel you have to select either you are using excel xf file or excel file okay and then simply click next the third step is to uh give some settings to pass your job so that is like a comma or colon or separator so you have to select all these things so set the heading as rows and columns and then the fourth step will be click on next you can see the fourth step which is to define the schema so since here see uh in the previous thing i have changed right so that is why it is also changed here let us keep it as such like a string okay so let us keep as a string here and leave it as such and let's see what is happening now okay leave it as such and remove the feedback okay remove the feedback and click finish you can see that the data has been imported in the metadata and you can see that euromart is here okay so you know the process like you have to simply click the euromart and drag it and drop it in the job that is a workspace you can see it is asking for various options okay so you have to click file input delimited here click on file input delimited and click okay you can see the component which is here okay so now we are going to connect with the log row just connect with the log row okay so the log row is connected now double click on the log row you can see the its configuration in the component tab okay so in the component tab initially it was in the basic settings now we are going to change it to the table okay table view that is uh, it has to print the in the table view now let us run the job uh you can you can see that icon which is appearing under the menu bar so click on that run log row okay so once it is started it will show you it is started if you want to stop in between you can kill the job and here you can see that 8047 rows has been transferred to the log row and the data is appearing in a table format 
i hope you can understand the difference okay i'll show you that how it looked before okay so we have to clear this workspace so sorry we have to clear this log so simply click here clear okay so it will be cleared now go back to the log row component click the basic okay so you can see that i'll run i'll execute this again okay so execute this again and see how it is uh, how it is displaying so it is not in a tabular format it is displaying with the piping separator and you don't have any table header like column name is not there okay now i'm going to just going to change that okay so go to the component and click here print header okay so print header and now execute the job now you can see that the all these data has been printed with a proper header just go to the top you can see that order id order date customer name everything is here every column name is here okay so again go to the component here i'm just going to use another thing like a print schema column in front of each value okay so now click here execute the job you can see that okay you can see the difference here so order id okay order id colon okay this is the schema that is a schema name that is order date colon okay customer name colon so everything is properly the key schema name is given before every entry okay and uh, you have various other options i think i hope you can explore more on this option click on the log row and uh, vertical each row like you can simply click here vertical each row and execute it you can see how it is uh, looking like so these are all the various options you can simply go and check see this is how it is showing for every single record okay it is showing for every single re record okay order id is this order date is this customer name likewise okay for 8447 sorry 8047 records it is showing like an individual data okay so these are all the various options which you can do with the log row you can just try it okay simply try that you have other options as well okay this is how you can print the log row fine and uh, um basically you can also include a note here okay so you can also add a note here which we call it as a um, wait a minute let me check um okay logs miss yeah note okay fine drag and drop the note and you can add some text over here you can tell what is this all about okay log row um, uh, like you, you are just showing up various uh, options various uh, configuration for log rows okay okay so this is what you can write it like whatever you are just trying to do with this job you can write that simply here for every jobs whereas if someone is uh, viewing this data viewing this job for a very first time they can understand that what you are trying to do with this okay that is what the logic here so simply you can write some message here okay and one more thing i just wanted to show under uh, this uh, workspace you can see two tab that is a designer tab which we are in a designer tab and if you just go and click on the code tab you can see the java code okay if you want to do this job okay like um, importing the euromart and making it in the log row you have to write this much code in java c so this big work has been reduced by talent by simply uh, dragging and dropping the component and making use of it got it so that is what in the further tutorials we'll be discussing about like um, how to use a message box so probably in the next uh, uh, tutorial we will see how to use a message box and then uh, everything which are under the processing okay